fantastic spring fragrances for men. You will smell amazing in a truly attractive way. Let's do this. So first up a fragrance, I recently did a review of. I'm gonna link to my review with above, so please do check it out. It's the latest flanker in Paco Rabanne's One Million line of men's fragrances. This is Paco Rabanne One Million Royal. So One Million Royal opens up really spicy, really aromatic. I'm getting sage, I'm getting cardamom and lavender, and I like it. The dry down is sort of vanillic and woody, with a slight hint of sweetness to it. This is not overly sweet, at least not to my nose. And there's a touch of smokiness to it as well. If I overspray this, I feel it becomes a lot better. So this is already a really nice scent, but if I overspray it, it becomes even better. Because when I do so, that sort of a slight hint of sweetness turns into this almost bubblegumish kind of scent that I truly like. This is perfect for spring and this is definitely a sexy scent. That sort of a classic combo of lavender and sage goes perfect with that slightly sweet vanilla and its woodiness. This thing right here is a mass appealing compliment getter that I believe it's pretty much impossible to go wrong with. So the next phrase I'm going to show you is also a fairly new one. And on the very first day of wearing it, I oversprayed like crazy, probably 15, 20 or maybe even 25 or 30 sprays, I can't remember, but it was a lot of sprays. I oversprayed this and went out and got a compliment on the very first day of wearing it. This is the kind of scent that's sexy. This is Carolina Herrera Bad Boy Extreme. I just gotta spray this. The opening is bright and aromatic with sage and ginger. I like the opening and the dry down is a bit of that, but with a fab dose of cocoa, a bit of sexy fruity sweetness from plum and a bit of vanilla. So this is basically a dark chocolate-ish kind of scent with a bit of fruity sweetness to it, a bit of vanilla and everything being slightly warm, ambery and it's got this fantastic creamy and sort of a nutty feel to it. So I did a comparison of Bad Boy Extreme and the rest in the line. I'm gonna link to that comparison above, so please do check it out. I think the whole line is underrated. I think pretty much the whole line has something unique to it. And Extreme is definitely my favorite. This is Sexy Juice. This is sexy spring juice. Overspray this and it's pretty much impossible, pretty much uh, impossible not get a positive reaction. This, I mean, I already like this, but it's growing on me every single time I'm wearing it. So next up is a fragrance I recently did a first impression of. I'm gonna link to that one above, so please do check it out. This is the latest release in the scent line of men's fragrances from Hugo Boss. And this is Hugo Boss the scent magnetic. So the core of this line is basically the manica fruit and this has that in a powdery blend with vanilla and the note of bran which gives it a quite a unique touch. This is... This is so good. This is powdery but I do not feel this is overly powdery, thick powdery or dense kind of powdery. This is definitely sweet, but again, I don't feel it's overly sweet. And that maninka together with the vanilla and the bran is just a fantastic combo. If you like the scent of vanilla, if you enjoy powdery scents, and if you think you would enjoy that combo together with a fruity kind of sweetness, then this is almost like a must for you to check out. This works throughout the year throughout the year for sure, but I feel this is a perfect spring scent that's very attractive. So the next fragrance is supposed to be inspired by Zerjov Herbapura, and to me it's actually quite a complex kind of scent, but it's essentially a combination of sweetness, fruitiness and woodiness on top of something musky with a dose of vanilla to it. This is Al Haramein 
Amber Oud Gold Edition Extreme. That fruity sweetness is so good and definitely an attention grabbing one. And I absolutely love how the woodiness of it sort of balances up that sweetness. Do not think about buying you this. Ah, I need more, I need more, come on. Do not think about buying this if you don't enjoy fruity sweet fragrances because this is pretty much all about that with a big dose of woodiness to it. But if you love fruity sweet fragrances, please do try this one out. This smells luxurious. The performance is incredible and I feel this is a fantastic and very attractive spring scent. So for the next one, I want you to take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Relax, focus on my voice, focus on me, and whatever you do, don't run away. I've got a floral scent for you, but not any kind of floral. This is not your ordinary floral scent. This is a luxurious, attention-grabbing floral with a big dose of fruity sweetness to it and a super smooth woody base. Nishane Veina Naive is all about rose, the sexy fruity sweetness of plum and raspberry and that combo is a fantastic one in this scent together with quite a smooth woody base and a dose of vanilla the combo sexy the performance sexy strong the results of wearing it most likely a super sexy compliment i feel you can wear this i mean you can pretty much wear this all year round but I do find this to be perfect on spring days. So once again, don't run away. I'm going to show you a Versace and not just any Versace. I'm going to show you one of the Eros. Now I know that Eros gets a bit of hate, but the reason why I'm showing it to you is because it's a pretty damn awesome scent and it's definitely a sexy spring scent. This is Versace Eros or the parfum and scent wise, I feel this one sort of sits between the EDP and the parfum. So it's not as loud and sort of aggressive as the EDT. I love the EDT by the way. And it's not as sort of a muted or dark and smooth as the parfum. This is minty, fruity, sort of a fresh, sort of a sweet with a dose of woodiness to it. And if you've ever worn this a lot while being out and about among a lot of people, then you know that this is a scent a lot of people find attractive. This is a great scent you can use throughout the year, but I reach for it mostly spring and summer. If you are looking for a mass appealing compliment getter that most people most definitely will enjoy getting a whiff of, look no further. This is the new Born in Roma Intense and it opens up with an amazing dose of ginger, sage and geranium and I really like the opening and it dries down to an almost bubblegumish kind of sweetness with a fab dose of lavender and vanilla and everything being sort of ambery and slightly smoky. It's vanillic, it's sweet, almost bubblegummy sweet with a dose of lavender bringing some balance to it all and everything being ambery and spicy with a soft smoky touch. So I really need to do a comparison of all the warmos but this one right here is definitely one of the best. It's definitely one of the sexiest. And I also feel that the performance of the new Born Hero My Intense is probably better than some of the other ones. If you like this kind of scent profile, then you will most likely enjoy Born in Roma Intense. And if you are looking for a sexy spring scent, then I feel this is definitely something you should check out.